Hey guys, my name is Trevor Williams and I'm a software engineer and I'm here to tell you about how you can get started in an IT career. Now a little bit about me, I have been a practitioner for about 10 years. I started when I was very young actually. I was fortunate enough to get a job straight out of university where I actually started working at the university that I attended and uh, you know over the period of the 10 years I have gathered quite a bit of experience. I've been moved from place to place and each time I've picked up a few things along the way that have helped me to advance in my career. Well, today I'm here to kind of coach you along and let you know what went into me being a practitioner, how you could probably follow some of the footsteps, probably charge your own course, but get involved in the IT industry also. So how did I get started in IT? Well, I'm going to kind of go all the way back to my high school days where actually I was preparing to be a doctor. You know, throughout high school, med school was on my mind, I wanted to be a doctor. And somewhere along the way, I just fell in love with computers, really. Uh, I think by maybe third form, fourth form, which is where you start thinking about, you know, what you want to be when you <laughs> grow up. And that's where my love for computers really kind of seeped in. And yes, I was doing all the sciences and everything that doctors would traditionally do subject-wise. But then, of course, I did IT and I fell in love with IT. So I attended the Northern Caribbean University where I studied computer science. I did my first degree in computer science with a software engineering emphasis. So to get started in that program, at least at that time, I only needed five CXE subjects. Math and English, of course, were mandatory and IT, having IT was an asset because then I didn't have to do introductory courses to get into the actual program. So I was going straight into that program, fresh out of high school, straight, fresh out of fifth form. I didn't have to go to sixth form to attend NCU. So I was 16 years old when I started my first degree. And as God preserved me, I was able to leave in four years at the age of 20 with my bachelor's in computer science. During my tenure, I was fortunate enough to have participated in a few marquee competitions, which actually helped me to develop my own edge as a software engineer, but it also brought a lot of exposure. I did national skills, which is put on by the Heart Trust NTA here locally, and I was fortunate enough once again to compete in the Microsoft Imagine Cup where I was a two-time finalist and I was able to go to Egypt, that's Cairo, Egypt, yes, with the pyramids, and I was able to go to Warsaw, Poland. Now, I attended NCU, but that is not your only option. If you're looking to get into IT, there are plenty of schools around, well, let's start with Jamaica and then by extension the world that you can go to get top quality IT tutelage. Now, I also teach at the Vocational Training Development Institute, which is a subsidiary of Heart Trust NTA, or at least it was, but I can attest to the fact that they have a really good program. Um, UE, UTEC, of course, there, there you have Vector Institute, you have quite a few schools around the island that can give you top quality IT education. And I am a software engineer, but that is not the only thing that is in IT. I sit down and write things like websites, and so on. you'll see my website on the screen behind me. But it's not limited to that. You can also do networking, you know, wire up offices and make sure the phones work. You can set up people's internet access. You can work at places like Digicel. You can work at Cable and Wireless. You can work in a bank. The thing with IT is that it is so versatile, so diverse. Everybody needs somebody who knows IT. Everybody with a computer is a potential client of yours if you are an IT practitioner. So there's a lot of potential and there are a lot of places you can go. And if maybe going to a school physically like UE, UTEC, NCU, VTDI, maybe that's not necessarily an option for you. You can always get your education online. There are websites like udemy.com, coursera.com, udacity.com. They all offer quality IT courses that can get you up and running if you want to learn how to develop websites, if you want to learn how to write applications for people to use mobile applications, there are tons of free resources out there for you. So you don't have to sit down and say, I can't go to school 
once you have a computer that has internet access, you are capable of learning how to be an IT practitioner. Now a little more about what I do. Yes, I am a software engineer, but I just mentioned that I also teach. I, since recently, I've started archiving that knowledge that I share in the classroom and I actually create my own videos and my own video lessons, which I now sell online, right? I have a YouTube channel where I put those videos there. People come on, they watch my videos, they learn how to do IT things because of how diverse IT is. It's not confining you to a desk job where you're just typing all day, but you can now use your skills to open up other avenues of income. And that's exactly what I would encourage you to do. Once you realize that you're getting comfortable in it, say, hmm, how else can I apply my skills and enhance somebody else's skills through my skills and then the thing is that even teaching somebody else reinforces what you know and it makes you realize what you don't know so you only keep getting better and better with all that said and done everybody has their ambitions everybody has their goals in life and i'm sure that you're well on your way to accomplishing yours from an it practitioner's perspective it is a good life it's nice and i encourage you if you are interested in it don't be shy take on the challenge do what makes you happy so that's all from me guys thanks for listening and i hope that i shared some information with you that inspired you to go there and be the best you that you can be take care